school to Marina Cafe. Okay, and this is gonna be over. God, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta end this. Okay, so just write down where you want the job to be, what city it, it is, even if it's as close as the corner, um, corner store. Um, you know how you want to travel there. That's important. How much money do you want to make? Um, what kind of people do you want to work with? That's really important for a Scorpio. Scorpios need artistic and like-minded people to work with them. They don't, you don't need cutthroat, jealous people because Scorpios are like, I ain't got time for that. Life's too short to work with these douchebags. Okay? Did I just say that? Okay, that I'm not going to blame on the guides. Okay. Anyhow. How much money do you want to make? Six of coins. Abundance is coming. Or you already have it. Don't you, Scorp? You already have abundance. Okay. So, now fix the love. Someone feels attacked. Either you feel attacked by your um, significant other, or they feel attacked by you. Okay? So... Sometimes Scorpios do it in a sarcastic way or in a, a laughing way. You don't like scream and yell. You don't like to like sit there and scream and yell. But you'll do it in a like zinga, zinga here, zinga there. Make the person feel bad. Make the felt person feel embarrassed. And that's all because you feel hurt about something. Or you feel embarrassed. Or you feel like your needs aren't being met. Okay? So... What, what, what the angels and the guides are saying is just straight up talk about your feelings more, okay? And what you want. You, you tell your spouse or your, your friend or your significant other, this is what I need. Yo, yo, this is what I need. This is what I want. Can you do it? Out of the pizza. And the one slice is pepperoni. No, <laughs> one slice is emotional. One slice is friendship. One slice is intellectual. One slice is spiritual. <coughs> one slice is financial. One slice is sexual. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all the slices. And uh, maybe one slice is like hobbies, things that you like to do. Um, and how many of those slices do you have in common? How many of those slices do they give you? Okay, if they give you almost all of them except for one, you're in good shape. But if you're missing the intellectual, you know, conversations with this said person and you're missing the physical, they don't meet you on the physical realm and they don't meet you on the emotional realm, like when you're sad and you're hurt and they can't figure out, you know, and they don't try to help you with making you happy again, then you got a problem. So you have to see how many slices out of the pizza that that said person that you want to be with or they want to be with you uh, meets. It's all about the pizza. Okay? All right. So how much money? I said that so many times. Someone loves someone. Right, love. Someone feels attacked. Set up your boundaries. Okay? I'm going to do these four things and you're going to do the other four things. I'm going to um, take you out every Friday. I'll figure out a place to take you. And you're going to figure out every other Saturday what we're going to do together. Uh, I'm going to cook for you on Thursdays, and you're going to cook for me on Sundays. Okay? Like some kind of schedule where you, you don't feel taken advantage of. They have to be given to you. You have to be given to them. Okay? And Scorpios work very good with that kind of... Uh, if the person does their part of the deal, okay? Because the Scorpio will always do their part of the deal, all right? Um, whereas a Virgo will say, like, I know I said I would do that, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like cooking right now, okay? Maybe we can go out to eat and spend the money, okay? Um, but a Scorpio will be like, nope, said I was cooking. I'm cooking for you this day. You're cooking for me. You're taking me out the next day. Okay, um, yes, Sergeant, yes, Sergeant Scorpio, yes, Sergeant, yes, Sergeant, yes, Sergeant. I just wanted to do that. I don't know why. Okay, so set your boundaries. Are you always trying to keeping options, keeping up with the Kardashians? 
doesn't say that. I just want to say Kardashians. Okay, are you keeping options open? Okay, this is for some people who aren't really getting their needs met. Um, keep your options open. Um, <clears throat> make them feel like you're solving their problems. Or is it you that's feeling needy? So somebody's going to be feeling needy. Either you are not getting your needs met, but you don't want to know how to say it, to ask for it. You don't like to ask for it, Scorp. Um, whereas Virgos ask for it every single day. Okay? Do you love me? You sure you love me? Well, you didn't tell me you I was pretty today. You said it yesterday, but you didn't say it today. Uh, you must think I look fat because you didn't say I looked skinny. <laughs> And if you think I look skinny, then you better get your glasses checked. So, all right, you know what I'm saying, sort of. <coughs> okay, so I'm a jerk, but I'm a lovable jerk. Okay, and I do have good information. This was like a couple of days of research, and I even have more, but I'm not going to have the time to do it. Because this wasn't supposed to be a whole Scorpio thing. It was supposed to be an emergency little tippet. Anyhow, if let's see how many views I get, and then, you know, uh, go from there. Anyway, feeling needy, someone keeping someone in the dark. Watching someone, so, watching someone's social media. Who's feeling left behind? Is it you feeling left behind, Scorp? Or is your partner feeling left behind? And all of a sudden, like, you... Somebody just, like, is talking to somebody from the past or a new friend that they have, and the other person is feeling left behind. Like, hey, what about me and you alone? Okay? One person in the relationship wants to be alone. But I don't think it's Scorpio. Scorpio does good with a couple of people. Um, maybe the other person just wants a one-on-one. -on -one. And you're like, come on, let's mix it up a little bit. One-on-one -on -one gets boring after a while. Come on. Um, I'm like that, too. I like to have the more the merrier. But I ain't got no friends here in Texas. So this is my only friend right here. That's it. Don't feel sorry for me. I have 2,500 subs. <laughs> that and uh, 250 for a cup. We'll get you a cup of coffee. Not in Starbucks, though. You need 750 for that. Okay, anyhow, I digress. All right, so someone is feeling left behind. Someone is rushing toward you. Scorpio, nine of cups in reverse. Excessive drinking. Someone wants to have a successful relationship. And they want the relationship to last. So say it. Say it. If you want a relationship to last and not just be a year or two years or five years or ten years, or even if it's 15 years, you have to say, I admit, I want this relationship. I do want to fight for it. I want us to stay together and meet each other's needs and wants and be best friends. Okay, so admit it. Regret holding on to the past. Smooth things over. Smooth things out. Watch excessive drinking two times. Or pill intake. So watch excessive drinking. Hey, saddest thing is an empty glass. Even if it's an empty coffee glass, that makes me sad too. Okay, so anyhow, you know what I'm saying. Monitor yourself, okay? Some people, um, a lot of Scorpios are very... Uh, teetotalers, meaning that they gave up drinking and they just drank tea. They just drink tea or coffee. They um, do not, you know, the, a lot of Scorpios are vegans. A lot of Scorpios are vegetarians. A lot of Scorpios are um, just all natural, natural things they do. Okay? Not a, a big old drunk ambium taken like this Virgo over here. Okay? But I still love myself. I love myself. Okay? I have extremely problem sleeping since I'm age six. 
and I've been taking the pills not all my life but since the 40s in the late 40s and I'll probably have to take it till the day I die and I still don't sleep with it because I took it over an hour ago and look how hype I am right yeah there's a problem okay so anyhow <sighs> regret holding on to the past smooth things out watch excessive drinking and or pill intake plan ahead strategize be organized for your new career that's coming in okay it's scorpio guess what guess what this virgo gets to say ana ma scorpios time to play yay. get busy on what you want to say and what your career will be and what your relationship and go and make nicey nice with old relationships and sell them namaste my soul meets your soul scorpio if you like this video or 17 videos please be respectful and give me a thumbs up and then add, and push the old share button wouldn't kill you to push the old share button Okay, this dude worked hard on it. Okay, I know the jokes. You didn't like the jokes and you probably didn't like the cards and the creepy cards that I drew. But you know what? I was working hard for my masters. I was working hard for my Scorpios. Yes, I did. I work hard for my Scorpios. I was trying to do a gang sign, but it didn't work out. Anyway, raise your hand if you think you see me getting up tomorrow morning. Oh, that does not look good. See, this looks much longer. It looks so much longer, but it's not. It doesn't look that good on. I know. I should not have done that, but I know not what I'm doing because... I took my amnium. See, now look at this hair. This is longer than that hair, but it's stringy. Anyhow. It's pretty sad when you got to give yourself compliments. Because <laughs> there's nobody in the room. Ever. Okay. Anyhow. Raise your hand if you think I'm getting up in three hours. Those hands better be up because if you know me, I always get up for my job. Okay? Very rarely did I ever sleep. When I worked in Brooklyn and my thyroid was starting to go and I didn't know I had a thyroid problem, I would pull up. I would go to work early just so that I could lay back, find a parking spot and lay back in my seat and take a five minute nap five minute sometimes I didn't wake up on time I wasn't that late though I wasn't that late I think I got written up for it but who doesn't get written up from time to time anyhow they, they were always after me but I, I could never understand because I was such a good teacher I still am a good teacher, but back then I was a devoted teacher. Whatever grade I had, whether I had fourth grade or I had pre-K, I was devoted and up late at night doing different projects for them and uh, cutting things out so that things would be easier, buying things for them. I used to spend $1,500 just to open my classroom. $1,500 on things that I had brought in because the Board of Ed didn't give you the money for that. So... Yeah, I spent a lot of money. Anyhow, I have to bid you a good day. Because this is like 75 videos and I have lipstick all over the place. And that is terrible. How many people think I'm going to open up that second bottle of wine just so I could have a second glass of wine to calm me down? I'm only going to get three hours sleep. Okay. I got to... That you could do. I'm going to go into that cafe back there 
with the red door because they have really good coffee, espresso. It's in Italy. And um, also, you know what they have? On the top shelf, really good wine that has 15.9% alcohol. So I just need one glass of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Scorpio. I bid you a Namas Scorpio day. Namaste. I don't like the gang hands. I don't understand them, so. <laughs> Love you. Have a great year, Scorpio. And don't forget, be kind to yourself, but also show your emotions more. Tell people what you want and need for the next part of your life for the next seven years of your life, okay? I love you, Scorpio.